What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a theater gameplay. Uh, it's from actually earlier today. Um, it's at headquarters. I go 30 and 14, but I go huge at one point. Um, you'll see it. I'll let you know when it's coming up. Um, if you guys had heard my actual reaction, I actually didn't have much of a reaction. You can just see, I just keep walking. But my teammates, uh, which was Shadows, Twist, and Zorks, were like screaming at the top of their lungs. Too bad I didn't record it. Um, but as you can see, I start off with an MK14. But today I'm bringing you guys High School Stories Episode 3. Um, today I wanted to talk about the time I had a high teacher. High, I said. Um, so, this teacher, Mr. V, was what we called him, uh, was my world history teacher. Well, he subbed for me. He wasn't actually my world history teacher. My world, actual world history teacher was Mrs. D. And, um, and Mr. V subbed for us because Mrs. D's daughter was sick. So, he comes in. And you can just tell this guy is stoned because his nose is all red as if he just did cocaine. I've and like his his eyes are all red. You can you can just tell he's high. And he basically goes which is basically what I sound like when I just woke up. So I knew he either just woke up or was high. I assumed it was the latter though. And um it was just it was just a really funny moment because and he was trying to tell us our assignment it was just really funny because he's one of the nicest teachers and he's really cool everybody loves him um, so yeah uh, but we ended up finding out that he had weed or pot brownies uh, it would sound weird if I said weed brownies that's why I corrected myself but he, we found out later that he had pot brownies in his desk um, he didn't get caught by any teachers but one of the students caught him, and uh, it was just um, really funny. And one thing, the reason this teacher was so popular was because he is, he, he like, one of, uh, we have, okay, we, first of all, let me give a little bit, a bit of a backstory. We have these vending machines at our school that have drinks, but you're only allowed to go to them at lunch. Well, during the middle of class, if he would want a water from the, from the vending machine, he would say, here, give him two dollars. The vending machine's a dollar. He would give him two dollars and say, get me a water and whatever you want. And he would get, so he would buy kids a drink during class and you weren't, if you got caught, you were screwed. So, but Mr. V would always get you out of it. It was just awesome. And, um, it was really funny, uh, when he came in our classroom high, uh, I think he had intended to, like, be like uh, sober by that point, I guess you could say. I, I guess it would be sober. I don't know what that would be called. Clean, I guess would be another word for it. But I get. Uh, I know he probably intended to. It was. It, it's just. It's hard to explain what he looked like, um, and it's hard to explain just how funny it was. Uh, there's not really much of a story other than that to that, but. Um, I guess I'm going to talk about the time that Dr. Kevin Elko came to my school. He's a motivational speaker, I think, for the University of Alabama. And he, I forget what he's... I think he's got his doctorate in psychology. And he's just... He he spoke about his new book. Uh, what was it? Pep Talk? I think it was called... I think it was his book, Pep Talk. So he came to our school and talked about that then talked about how we really need to respect each other, respect um, our elders, and talked about how as a, as a teammate your job is to make sure your teammates are doing okay, make sure your teammates aren't having any trouble in their life, and making sure your teammates know that you are there for them. And it was basically a really motivational speech that he gave us, and it really showed us, he really told us, taught us how to work as a team, and the next two games we won our only two games of the season. It was the last two games of the season. Dr. Kevin Elko came in and spoke to us. The next two games we won. It was awesome. It was just... Um, maybe it was because I started. I don't know. I didn't start until the last two games and we won both of them. So I, 
I don't know. Maybe that's saying something to the coaches. Uh, or maybe it was just a coincidence or just luck. Or I think it was more the, the pep talk, though, because that was such a great moment. Um, it, we, it was just so much fun seeing, hearing him speak about everything. Um, just talking about how he speaks to the University of Alabama or whatever school he's from. Um, just listening to him talk about how he's, he talks to those players, motivates those players, is just awesome. And he really loves his job, um, you can tell. And, I mean, he's one of those, it seems like he was one of those guys who you could t go to about anything. If you messed up in life, you would, and he would just for basically be like, forgive and forget. Like, um, yeah, so Dr. Kevin Elko was great. Um, and one more story, I guess. Um, let's see. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of tips or advice on how to make new friends right after you guys see this clip. This is the thing I was talking about in the beginning. One, two, three, and then four. So, um, I'm going to talk to you guys about how you, how you can make new friends. So basically, what I want to say here is, in high school, people don't like fake people. So I'm, the, I'm saying, go, go into school and be yourself and you'll make friends. It may not happen immediately. It may not happen in a week. It'll happen. Just introduce yourself to somebody. Say, for me, hi, my name's Mike. Walked up to this kid, Eric, Eric and I are best friends now. Same thing with Brian. Brian sat down on our table said, hi, I'm Brian. Eric and I became best friends with him. We're basically the trio at my school. The actual trio, though, is me, Nate, and Gino. Me, Zorts, and Twist. We're in this game. You can see we do so. We actually do a lot together, not just Xbox, just so you guys know. Um, Eric and Brian and I don't talk as much as I talk to Nate and Gino. But it's just because I've known Nate and Gino since kindergarten. And I've known Brian and Eric since freshman year, so September. So... Yeah, um, but just be yourself in high school, and you'll make friends. Be your, like, don't be fake, is what I'm trying to say. So, comment, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, it'll be down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Thanks for watching. Have a, have a nice rest of the day. See ya.